Hello again YouTube. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a demo of 3D uh, that I've hacked together in Qt for my game engine. Uh, it's not complete. I haven't figured out some stuff, but you can get an idea of what I'm going for. Pretty much I'm trying to create enough robustness for 3D that I can do a F-Zero type game uh, at, at the minimum, you know, what Super Nintendo did with Mode 7. As I, I noticed in Super Nintendo's Mode 7, they do, there's no like 3D objects to interact with. It's mostly uh, just a, a flat uh, map transformation. There's no like trees or anything. I mean, there are trees, but they're sprites. They're not like buildings and stuff. And that doesn't happen to N64. So, at the least, I got to be able to do Super Nintendo quality uh, stuff. So, here's my demo. Uh, you can see I can go in and out, right? Z transformation. I can move up and down the Y axis, X axis right in and out is Z axis and the important thing transformations rotation about the Y axis so you can see the uh, faces aren't drawing in proper order yet because that's I'm still working on that but rotation around the Y axis okay Y axis X axis and z-axis. So yeah, it's all there. The geometry is there, but the, the texture map, the texture map being, I haven't quite figured out yet, but uh, I'm confident I can figure it out eventually, as long as, you know, all this works. So, this is my brute force attempt at doing 3D. So, the cat, I'm, I'm uh, gonna assume Implementing a camera just has to do with reversing the uh, transformations, so that should be easy. But otherwise, it, it, it's something like that. So imagine if this was a, like a F zero car passing by, right? And you see, shoop, and that, like that. So it's prop, all the perspective is correct. Is is uh, and if you're talking about uh, orthogonal perspective, that's what you see in these uh, these uh, de debug windows uh, that on, on the side shows the different axes, axes, so that I can figure out how to uh, which phases not to draw, what they call culling. But yeah, otherwise that's pretty much what I got for the 3D so far. 2D wise I got uh, pretty it's far except for s certain features that I'm trying to figure out but uh, 2D is way easier. You just draw on top of this. Draw straight to the uh, paint device. But 3D was harder because I had to come up with a uh, custom class and structure to hold the 3D coordinates but yeah otherwise that's it it works the geometry works I just have to figure out the order to draw the faces so that see you see you start n noticing this in action already the faces drawing on only under certain conditions which I have right here this is the camera uh, and if the if the vector intersects with the front uh, lines of this object, then uh, I flag it so that it doesn't get drawn. Something like that, but you know, it's a work in process. It's not foolproof yet, but same thing right here. Depending on the axis, you see the axis right there. Yeah, it, it's. I'm not basing it on anything. This is me hacking it together myself so that I have a better understanding of it. It took me a long time to figure it out, but uh, that 3D to 2D projection is involved 
uh, proportional scaling. So there's a vanishing point right there. And in my research, they call that the, the far Z, right, and near Z. But I just, because uh, I, I learned it from drawing, that's the vanishing point. So you just scale the X and the Y divided by the Z depth that it's in. So, And you can see the Z, Z coordinates up. Uh, transformed into a 2D uh, plane you just map it to the X and then take the X and map it to the Y same thing with this uh, for the the uh, Z and Y Y coordinate but yeah I hope that that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching uh, see you next video